The male and female brain are different. The distinctions between them have very specific neurobiological features. On average, men have a larger overall brain volume, while women possess denser neural connections between hemispheres through the corpus callosum. This gives a certain advantage in integrating information and switching between tasks. Men show stronger development in areas responsible for spatial navigation, while women show greater activity in regions tied to verbal and social skills. At the hormonal level, the differences are also clear. Testosterone in the male brain amplifies systems linked to risk-taking and competition, while estrogen influences regions connected to empathy and emotional regulation. This does not mean rigid divisions. Every brain is unique, and many people demonstrate a mixed set of characteristics. But nonetheless, it is men who are more often the ones to commit the most extreme and destructive acts. Is the reason for this found in the structure of their brains, in the level of testosterone that heightens impulsivity and risk-seeking, or in cultural models of upbringing that encourage aggression and dominance? There is no single answer to this question, although I do not deny that the female brain is also capable of cold calculation and deviant behavior. Both overall statistics and and my own practical observations show that the overwhelming majority of the most notorious and dangerous cases are connected to men. Perhaps this is the result of a complex interplay of biology, trauma, and social factors that together push them beyond the line of what is permitted.